Hi there, my name is Daniel. I'm the lead tech here at the tech support department at G&D Chillers, and today I want to talk to you about Corel controller navigation. So here we have our uh, medium Corel controller that's on all of our medium temp um, series, like the vertical air series and the low temp chillers. Um, and I want to show this screen here is the main page. So you have a lot of really good information, such as your set temperature, your uh, in temperature of your heat exchanger, and your supply, your reservoir temperature. Uh, you can also see your process pump pressure up here. That's the uh, pump pressure going out to your process piping. Um, and then also uh, date and time here as well. Um, the main focus you'll want to see here is the status of your chiller. Um, if it's on, it'll say comp on. Um, if it is uh, off by alarm, it'll prompt you for that. But this one here, this is off by DI. That's just your direct input. That's your door switch over here. Um, all these buttons here, uh, so you have this alarm button up here. Uh, you can notice that we have an alarm. Uh, that's due to our breakers being off. Um, and then you can cycle through all of your active alarms. Um, if you want to clear set alarms, uh, you cycle down through all of your active alarms, and it'll prompt you to hold the alarm button for three seconds to clear. Uh, in this screen, you notice that it also says press enter to go to the data logger. So you can go in that to see any past alarms that have been reset. Uh, if you push the back button in the bottom left corner um, enough times, it'll eventually get you back to the main screen. Uh, I want to stress the importance of this button over here, this target or bullseye button uh, that brings you to a login password protected screen. This is the internal programming of the, of the system and you don't, we don't want you going in there. Um, there's a lot of parameters that we can mess up. Um, so if, if you do want to go in here or you want to talk about parameters, feel free to give us a call at tech support and we can navigate this screen with you. Um, lastly, you have here on the main screen, you have um, this icon in the bottom right corner. Uh, so a little power symbol. You can go into that and you can turn the system off by the keyboard itself rather than the door switch. Uh, if you go back here and you press the up and down buttons on the Corel controller on the main screen, you'll notice you have an I. That'll bring you to your info screens that tells you really good information such as is the compressor running, uh, discharge pressure, suction pressure, uh, your suction temperature sensor, and such. Um, if you have a dual series um, where there are two compressors in there, you can navigate through all these screens. You have your expansion valve screen, but you'll notice you'll get to circuit two and you have the same screens for circuit two. Lastly, on this main screen, if you go down to where it says set here, you can change two things. One being the set point here. You can press the enter button. You'll notice it's highlighting next to the current set point, and you can change that to whatever your desired set point is. Um, from this screen here, you can navigate down once. Uh, if you have a chiller that does use a VFD, this is where you would set your desired pump pressure. So you can press the back button to go back to the main screen. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call here at the office.